So I'm having uh, some thoughts about how to propel this canoe and I think we might have a go at creating some sort of duck paddling device. Um, I was having a sneak round to see what sort of thing might be suitable and I found these. So these are two bikes. This is my father's bike from when I was a child. This is my sister's first bike, both of which are pretty much rusted up. We're going to put some surgery marks on and get cutting. So this is where I've got to. It's nearly satisfactory. It doesn't have quite enough sort of amplification on that swing. Anyway, this is how it works. There we go. And that will dip in the water, push, dip, push. Both paddles on. Yeah, it's uh... safe. <laughs> Fingers crossed it works. So day two, and I've got this off uh, free off um, a chap who found it in a ditch when he was litter picking. Uh, and yesterday I found out that this pedal is completely threaded, so I've decided to use this donor crank arm on here and probably switch this crank as well, and away we go. Um, I thought of just reusing this whole back end of the bike and replacing it that with that, but actually this sort of child's bike is brilliant because it means that it's nice and short and low down rather than having my feet way up in the air. I think this bike's been in a nasty accident. This is, this is really quite bent. I'm not sure you can see that. Um, let's give it a whip. Yeah, you can see it's got quite a bend on it. Hopefully it's not too much of an issue. Much more solid construction there. I've got a nice folding seat. So that goes down like that for transport. So it's all roughly working as it should. However, I've just realized that although that's a nice system in there and would allow gear change and things, it won't allow me to go in reverse and it won't allow me to break. So if the paddles get stuck in the water whilst I'm slowing down, I think the whole mechanism will get chewed up and the chain will pop off. So I think I need to try and find a way to do direct drive. So I've slept on it and I think the best solution for this is to create a sort of rib, oh no sorry, a spine which runs down the centre um, all the way from there down to underneath and that, that means the tension in the chain is reacted by that spine. Hopefully it's strong, it's got a bit of flex in it but it's one inch thick marine ply, it should do the job. Problem solved, I think. So we've got direct drive all the way to the back. The advantage of this setup is that um, it can be extended by removing that, 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 and that. It can be moved further back so that I can be sat further forward in a boat um, for weight distribution. Join me for part three, where I test the boat for the very, very first time and set off on the journey down the Thames to London.